Hey guys, have you heard of equivalent fractions? Well, equivalent fractions are fractions that have the same value. They are exactly the same. They equal to one another. However, they are written differently. Let us use an example and a diagram to explain this. Looking at this circle, we can see that half of it has been shaded, meaning one out of the two parts has been shaded. Look at the next diagram. This circle has four parts. Two of the four have been shaded. If you notice, the same amount has been shaded in the top circle and in the bottom circle. However, they are written differently. So that means 1 over 2 has the same value as 2 over 4. Just because they're written differently, but the same value has been shaded. Let's look at a third example. The diagram there with a circle. Now this circle has been divided into how many parts? eight parts, four of which have been shaded. So four out of the eight have been shaded. But if we look closely, it has the same amount shaded as the top two circles as well. So one over two and two over four and four over eight are all equivalent fractions. They have the same value, but they are written differently. Now, let us look at these three examples we would like to know what is the equivalent fraction from 4 over 5 to x over 20. So we would like to know what is the value of x. We know these are equivalent. The question says find the equivalent fractions, find x. Well, 4 over 5 and something over 20 makes these two fractions equivalent. All right, let's see how it's done. Very simple. We ask ourselves, how do we get from 5 to 20? 5 times what equals to 20? Well, 5 times 4. Whatever we do to the bottom, we must do the top. 4 times 4 is 16. That means this value here, this x, is actually 16. So here, this, the x is replaced with a 16, so in reality it is 16 over 20. So 4 over 5 and 16 over 20 are equivalent fractions. Looking at this example, 3 over 7 and 12 over something are equivalent. We need to know what that something is, represented here with a y. We ask ourselves, how do they get from 3 to 12? Well, we can see that 3 times 4 is 12. That means 7 times 4 is 28. Y is going to be 28, which means it's 12 over 28. Y is 28, which means 3 over 7 and 12 over 28 are equivalent fractions, just like half and 2 over 4 are equivalent, and 2 over 4 and 4 over 8 are equivalent. This means, same thing, they have the same value, but they are written differently. Once again, we have two equivalent fractions. We are asked to find B. Well, we need to ask, how do we get from 3 to 30? 3 to 30 is times 10. 3 times 10 is 30. Whatever we do to the denominator, we must do to the numerator. 3 times, 7 times 10. So 3 times 10 is 30. 7 times 10, B must be 70. Which means that B over 30 is really 70 over 30, it is equivalent to 7 over 3. These are equivalent, they are written differently, but they have the same value. So here, we can see the equivalent fractions, they are equal, they are exactly the same, but they are written differently. How do we find a missing value in the equivalent fractions? We look at the denominator in this case, how did they get from 5 to 20 times 4? What we do to the bottom? We must do the top, times 4 here, times 4 there, 4 times 4, x must be 
16. So this fraction here is really 16 over 20. Here, again, these are equivalent 3 over 7 and 12 over y. How do we get from 3 to 12? 3 times 4 is 12. Whatever we do to the top, we do to the bottom. 7 times 4 is 28. So y is 28. So it is 12 over 28. This is equivalent to that. 12 over 28 is equivalent to 3 over 7. And here, same thing. These are equivalent. 7 over 3 is equivalent to b over 30. We are told to find b. Okay, how do they get from 3 to 30? Times by 10. 3 times 10 is 30. 7 times 10 is 70. b is 70, so 70 over 30. And 7 over 3, 70 over 30 and 7 over 3 are equivalent fractions. They have the same value, however, they are written differently.